Today we stopped off at one of the breed's most successful kennels of all time, Rosset. Um, and we are joined by Patricia Sutton. Thank you for letting us stop in. Pat. My pleasure. Um, now, best place to start, uh, the beginning. Uh, how did you get involved in Beagles? Well, um, as I'm sure um, most of the dog show people know, my parents were very much involved in dogs and mother started breeding boxers, in fact, um, in the mid 50s, 1950s, and then moved on to breed Beagles. So, of course, I've been brought up with uh, Beagles since I was about 10 years old. <laughs> and uh, yes, there was never any question, really. <laughs> Um, take us back further. How was the Beagle as a breed developed? Well, I, you go really way, way, way back. I mean, the Romans uh, and the Greeks before them were all um, historically uh, supposed to have hunted with very small hounds. Mm. And of course, when they invaded England, they probably brought a few of those little, little hounds with them. And in time, um, they became the small uh, mix of the southern and northern hounds right. and beag or beagle is a form of french for small right. which obviously is a beagle and have there been developments in the breeds in more recent times well i think we've had uh, probably 50 years ago we had a big influx of uh, american bred dogs right. interestingly of course in the mid 80s 18 1860 mm. onwards 1880 there was a great influx of beagles from this country to America. Right. So it was the return. It was the return, yes. And that sort of development surely must have changed type in some way. Over the yes, time. I mean, I think they've become much more elegant, um, a much more athletic little dog. And the hunting type and the showing type from about the 1950s uh, certainly has grown quite a long way apart. Right. And despite being a, a British native breed, uh, they are massively popular overseas as well. Um, you spoke about um, being in North yes, America. Yes, well, they're all over the world. I mean, there were packs formed in South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, uh, wherever the British colonised, they took their beagles with them. Right. What do you think it is about the beagle that, that makes them so popular? Well, I think today they're a small dog they're a clean dog. They've got no coat mm. to be um, too worried about. They are a healthy little dog. Uh, they are obedient if you train them properly, <laughs> but they should always be a really lovely, they make your family their pack. And in most people's mind, when they think of a beagle, it's immediately a, a tricolour dog comes to mind, but it's not the only colour you get in beagle, is it? No, and I, this country particularly has, we show, particularly tan and whites, lemon and whites. We've got some breeders who've concentrated on keeping the mottled colour alive. Ah, right, yes. And now across the world, they're beginning to realise, and certainly pet people are becoming more realistic about asking for col different colours. Mm. In breed rings at champ shows, uh, the competition is always incredibly strong. Yeah. Um, but what is a judge looking for in a good one? Well, they're looking for a reasonably compact little dog, should be a little bit longer than square, of a very happy temperament, particularly good shoulders. And one of the major things with a beagle is a really lovely head. Right. Uh, and if you see a beagle looking at you and you, it just melts, that's the correct expression. Now, because they are so popular, there will be many people watching uh, with one of these hounds curled up at the feet. Uh, but no, no doubt many more uh, that perhaps would like one. So do beagles make good pets um, and how are they with children? Well, I've always found them brilliant with children. Um, I get several families looking for puppies and even from an early age, they're all wanting to talk to the children. <laughs> and, you know, they seem to be drawn to children. <laughs> Again, if you treat them properly and have parameters of rules, so that they know exactly what they should and shouldn't be doing. Um, they're well-mannered. Um, I usually find, actually, if the families have got well-mannered children, they'll <laughs> manage a beagle fine. <laughs>